So, have you ever sat to meditate? Do you sometimes do that? Are you doing it on a semi-regular or regular basis? And when you sit to meditate, when someone suggested to Jerry and Esther that they meditate, as soon as they got away from that person in the car, they said, that's just weird. Jerry said, I think of myself more as a business person. <laughs> Meditation just seemed weird to them. That was many years ago, and to many it still seems weird today. But it's because there's not an understanding of what it means. Meditation, if you understand it and you're about to, will take you back to the core vibration that is unchallenged by beliefs that are keeping you from what you want. Meditation will take you to the vibrational frequency that your inner being is, and as you're able to maintain it for a little bit, law of attraction will bring momentum to that. So when we talk about law of attraction, what we're really talking about is momentum. We're really talking about you being at some starting point and law of attraction bringing the next and 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 the next. So if you're irritated by something, law of attraction will bring you more and 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 more of things like that. If you are in love with life, law of attraction will bring you more and 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 more of that. But you are, we love you so much, you are, we love you so much. You are sloppy in your thinking. You are reactive in your thinking. You are letting everything in the world be the reason that you are offering the vibration that you're offering. And then you are in opposition to what you really want. You can't get there from there. your mind at first it's very difficult because your mind has been trained to be responsive to your environment but when you quiet your mind and what that requires is focusing upon something quieter Esther sat to meditate yesterday and she had a load of clothes in the washing machine and a door closed but she could still hear the clanging and the banging of the zipper on the jeans and it kept her from being able to withdraw from her physical experience just something that simple and she thought well it'll stop in a minute but it didn't it was an hour and 12 minute cycle and so it wasn't a good choice of a time or a place for her to intend to quiet her mind if your telephone's going to ring, it's not a good time or a place to sit to meditate. You want to find a time when you are not likely to be interrupted in a space where you can really control the environment a bit. It's good if you can shut out the things that you're mostly physically attracted to. So as you sit in this comfortable position, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's comfortable. And as long as you believe that you can maintain it for at least 15 minutes without needing to worm around, sit in a comfortable place with one intention, and that is to let your mind be still. And when your mind wanders, and it will, just focus upon the idea that you want your mind to be still. Now, we have noticed, as we've watched so many of you, that it is really helpful if you can find something to focus upon that isn't much to think about. Like even a ticking of a clock is a pretty good thing. Or the dripping of a faucet is a pretty good thing. Or if you want your eyes to be open, it's really better if they're closed. A flickering of a flame. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's not very much. So it has your attention, but it doesn't bring a lot of attention. You get the idea. Find something that is easy for you to focus upon that's not very thought-provoking. And then just focus on it until you receive the sign that you have quieted your mind. And that sign is a physical, visceral feeling of detachment from this time and place. It feels like numbness. It feels like floating. It feels like a suspension of gravity. It feels like detachment. It feels like soothing. It feels delicious. 
delicious. So Esther is sitting there, and once she achieves that state, she begins to realize that some intention other than her own is making motions with her physical body. In other words, she's not deliberately thinking about what she's going to do with her physical body. Something else is, that broader perspective is, that quieted mind is. And once she feels that detachment and begins to feel that, and you will, you will in a day or two or three or four or five, you will feel that. And here's the advantage to you. When you get to that place where you are mindless, you are thoughtless, and the non-physical part of you now is the dominant part of your vibration, you are in a state of utter well-being just for a moment and you're not doing anything with your physical noticing with your physical senses that's distracting from that base of well-being now you see the thing that's so wonderful about allowing it might take you 15 minutes to get there and you might only be there a minute or two before your meditation time is up but that's enough it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there it's just important that you get there because when you get there you have pushed the reset button you have given yourself an opportunity to have detachment from the vibrations that are hindering you and that rut that Esther found in her knowing what she didn't want and trying to find what she did want is now a little softer it's less likely that she's going to stay in that rut once finding that you see what we're getting at can feel that you're not feeling very engaged in the idea of this but the reason that we're sticking with this subject anyway even though you might be feeling a little resistance to it is because we know that if you will allow yourself that quieted place it's like a high-rise building that somebody has told you is not steady on its foundation and so you just put more rebar up in the top of it and more concrete and try to guy it out maybe to, to sky hooks or to other buildings or maybe to the ground but if the foundation of that building isn't secure it's not going to stand in that secure place very long and neither are you and meditation will take you back to your primal not quite the right word but you know what we mean to your grounded not quite the right word but you know what we mean to the very base to the core of you to the vibrational center of that which you are to the goodness that is you to the whole that is you to the vibrational reality that is you to your inner being who knows everything that you are wanting and knows where you stand in relationship to everything that you want now you find that vibrational place that sort of detached place and once you are pretty good at getting there have you ever gotten there you know what we're talking about once you are pretty good at getting there what you will notice if you will allow yourself to stay in that vibrational place for a little bit is that the vibration will begin to turn to thoughts thoughts will begin to occur to you and you will know the perfection of those thoughts because of the way they feel as they come across your mind. Now when the thought comes, don't try to think about it. You're in the receiving mode. Receive the thoughts. Receive the thoughts. Let your vibrational reality and your inner being be the deliverer of the thoughts. You are the receiver of the thoughts. And as you allow yourself to be the receiver of the thought, and you don't contradict the thought by, oh, I wonder if that was my thought, or if that was my inner being's thought, or I wonder if I really thought that, or who thought that, or was that a good thought, or was that a bad thought? I don't even know if I'm thinking good thoughts or bad thoughts. I'm not sure. Just let it be. And as you just let it be, law of attraction and momentum will cause that thought 
to become more and more and more until an idea will explode in your mind that will make you say, this meditation's over, I've got places to go, things to do, people to see. In other words, you'll find yourself very soon feeling enlivened for the day. And it doesn't take more than about a week of that, and we're only talking about 15 or 20 minutes before.